Hi everyone, it's Luca Volpe here with Alan Wong. Hello. And we are here to present to all of you the key of faith. But what is the key of faith? Well, I have been, uh, you know, obsessed with a routine for many years. And uh, it's the most successful routine of my lecture that I present all around the world. This is an improved version, an improved routine. And for months, Alan, for months, and you know very well what I'm talking yeah, check, about. Yeah, check your uh, Facebook. Site. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> for months, I had people asking me, Luca, when you release the full set so that we can play and do the same routine? So why didn't you release it? Because I was waiting you, Mr. <laughs> Alan Wong. And I have to say that Alan did a great job with this routine. He actually, you know, as always, he do um, props of great quality. And it's all here. Thank you. Yeah, yeah I think we, we explained. Um, Luca would like to uh, release it, but there was a very difficult part to, uh, to source. Yeah, but yeah. we did it. We don't say what, but we did it. So we did it. let me explain what the effect is. Yes. Now, imagine this. Imagine that before the show, uh, you ask the people in the audience to write down on the piece of paper uh, some potential price to win. Mm -hmm. It can be something funny or can be even something expensive. So start from the spectators. You don't... Exactly. You can start even before the show. Right. Okay? You don't bring out a lot of uh, items for them to choose. No, no, no. Okay. They, they write whatever they want. Good. Now, at this point, you call a spectator on stage mm -hmm. that you will say that he will be in control of everything mm -hmm. in the routine. Yeah. At this point, you show him three keys and three envelopes. And you tell him to mix the keys, to mix the envelope, and then at the end to put each key in one envelope. And when meanwhile he do this, yeah, meanwhile he do this, you can even be in another room. Right. Then he's going to number the envelope one, two, and three, and then you ask him to bring three spectators on stage. On stage there are three chairs. You're going to number the chairs with the envelope that he numbered, and then he decides where each spectator is going to sit. So again, it's a completely free choice. Yeah. Then you're going to collect the piece of paper in the audience, and then each spectator is going to choose one single piece of paper. So at the end, this is the situation, Alan. Each spectator will have one key and one piece of paper. Random. Random. Then you introduce the game, which is called the key of fate, and you will tell them, whoever has the key that opened the lock will win the prize they get. And the funny thing is, for example, when I work with CEO and corporate or whatever it is, I always say, oh, by the way, and the CEO will pay the price. Yeah. Because, you know, maybe it can be anything, like a Ferrari or a mountain money, and they always get, you know, good luck. Yeah. At this point, obviously two people will not open the lock, mm -hmm. and the one that opened the lock will win a funny prize. That yeah. can be something funny like, a banana. <laughs> For example, okay? Now, at this point, what happened? That you will tell him, it will be incredible if I predict that you was, you was going to win the banana. Mm -hmm. So you will open the box, and inside the box there will be, for example, the banana. Yeah. But it's not finished yet, because when you will show the chair where the spectator was sitting, mm -hmm. only underneath that chair there will be one envelope, where not only you predict the winner, but you will also predict the other two prizes mm -hmm. they, they didn't win so as you can see there are a lot of layers and this is alan a solid 12 minutes routine i saw it and i really like it and it's very flexible what this means that it doesn't need to be funny it can be a serious routine you mm -hmm. know kind of a mysterious if you work for a corporate for example you can have the product of the company in very this case very commercial very very yeah. commercial and you can adapt the, the routine to any performing style. Mm -hmm. But let's show what they actually get. Yes, so the good thing about um, the set is everything is contained in a box, which yeah. is also part of the show. Yeah, that's the box where yeah. it will be locked by the lock, right? So you just uh, carry it and you got a special bag. Yeah, that's it. Ah, by the way, this is an improved prop everything you see here this is, is a improved. new design yeah it's a yeah. new design as improved from the video performance that you are going to see so this is yeah. even better what well, i use normally this banana could be anything could be anything yeah. yeah so the main feature would be also the uh the lock and keys yes exactly. so the three keys um we and talk about you know why why three keys because there could be six there could be ten but imagine if you got too many people and too long no this is anticlimax it's anticlimax anti this also, is clean yeah easy and the and rule of three you know it's a perfect number it's a perfect number yeah, yeah. so 
The good thing about this is everything is examinable. Before and after, by Before the way. Before and after, yeah. and spectators open the lock by themselves. Yeah, they, right. you never touch anything. Yeah. And the beautiful yeah. thing, I've used these also for corporate, for cruise ship, you know, cruise ship shows with a lot of people. So uh, I'm sure that you will enjoy this routine as much as I have. So thank you very much. Thank you, Alan. Thank you. Thank you, everyone. See you soon. Bye. Bye.